DAO enthusiasts claim they're the next step in a decentralized future. But what is a DAO, and how do they work? Watch till the end to know some surprising facts about it. You're on the Jelvix channel. Tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. Think of them as a native internet business collectively owned and operated by its members. They have built-in treasure chests that no one can access without group approval. Decisions are governed by proposals and voting so that everyone in the organization has a say. Why do we need DAOs? Starting an organization with someone that has to do with funding and money requires a lot of trust in the people you work with. But it's hard to trust someone you've only ever interacted with online. With DAO, you don't have to trust anyone else in the group, only the DAO code, which is 100% transparent and can be verified. How do DAOs work? The basis of DAO is its smart contract. The contract defines the organization's rules and contains the group's treasury. If someone tries to do something that's not covered by the rules and logic of the code, they will fail. This means that DAOs do not need a central authority. Instead, the group makes decisions collectively and payments are automatically authorized after voting. By the way, if you want to know more about the Ethereum smart contracts, check out the article we've prepared. The link is in the description. So what are the benefits of DAO? The autonomous structure of DAOs is the most significant source of advantages. DAOs ensure that every member of the organization is independent. Also, DAO enables anyone to contribute to the project. All investors in decentralized autonomous organizations have the opportunity to shape decisions to manage the future of organizations. Do you think market leaders such as Google or Facebook would benefit from implementing users' ideas? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Another benefit is the neutral environment DAO creates for the organization. Without intermediaries or managers with significant powers in the DAO, you won't have to deal with power games or conflicts. And the final pros to mention here is accountability. One of the most striking features is transparency, which requires every member of the organization to be held accountable. Now, let's look at DAO's disadvantages. Firstly, a community-based model is a positive for DAO. However, this can prove to be a significant setback for the organization in unforeseen situations. For example, you cannot introduce any changes to the DAO without voting mechanisms. The next cons concerns possible concentration of voting power. Some investors can accumulate major shares of DAO tokens and therefore gain a high voting power. We also need to mention the reference to regulatory requirements. DAO can be a regulatory nightmare, mainly due to the lack of specific rules and regulations for taxing and managing. And one more drawback is DAO's dependence on smart contract code. To give you a better understanding of DAOs, here are a few examples of how you could use them. A charity. You can accept membership and donations from anyone globally, and the group can decide how they want to spend donations. You can create a freelancer network of contractors who pool their funds for office spaces and software subscriptions. Ventures and grants. You could create a venture fund that pools investment capital and votes on experiences to back. Repaid money could later be redistributed amongst DAO members. DAOs are growing in popularity, both within the cryptocurrency community and amongst startups. Where do you see DAOs going in the next few years? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.